what is going on everybody welcome back to the garage and today we are doing a quick book review i've been meaning to get this one out for a while and i figured that this is a good time to do it because we are also if it has not happened by the time this video goes up we are breaking 6,000 subscribers which is amazing i want to really take a moment to thank all the support of all the people out there who have an interest in tuning across all platforms we got a lot of domestic guys here and a couple of import guys, but we welcome everybody that wants to learn the art of tuning. And as I said, I just want to thank you people, you guys, you guys out, you guys and gals out there uh, who uh, have supported the channel, both through the Patreon and through uh, subscribing and liking these videos. None of this would be possible without you guys and also thank you for sharing these videos i know that a lot of people share these videos over on the different groups that drives a lot of traffic it is noticed on this end so thank you that being said we are reviewing another book we did one a little while back uh that was kind of more of a performance based one this one is literally how to build and modify gm ls series engines this is the joseph potak book he uh he is one of the guys down at texas speed and let me tell you this is the most impressive uh, piece of literature as far as uh, for engines and performance and stuff like that goes that I have found. And I'll post a link down in the description as usual where you can pick this up on Amazon. But this thing is just mind-blowingly good. Mind-blowingly good at all the information, all of the pictures that you get in here, the detailed descriptions. Uh, if you had absolutely uh, no prior knowledge on how to build an engine, this thing literally will hold your hand through the entire process. I mean, and it breaks it down. Nice color-coded uh, tabs on the back here that break down engine block, rotating assembly, cylinder heads, camshaft and hardware, uh, machine engine, uh, engine machining, not machine engineering, <laughs> short block assembly and setup, long block assembly and setup, and then uh, finishing the long block, which just kind of goes into some different things. Uh, torque and bolt specifications. I know it's hard to see because of the light is a little bright, but it is all in this book. You can literally, and it covers all the LS platforms, talks about uh, uh, crack rods, you know, explains to you the different kind of performance rods, connecting rods that you can run in here, and has great examples along with part numbers, color photos. The one downside is that these pages are a little bit papery. They're beautiful color photos though. I mean, I can't tell if you can really take that in, but you can see how nice all of this looks. I'm just afraid in a shop environment, this will get very dirty. It will get very dirty. So if you are thinking about using this as a reference, uh, I would probably suggest you buy a shop version and then a uh, coffee table version that you can put in the house, you can put in the office, uh, and that way you don't get this because this thing will soak up a lot of oil. Not that that's a problem uh, per se, other than some of it, you know, this is just, it is a beautiful, this is a work of art as far as automotive books go. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It goes into so much information. Uh, talk about like we're on the camshaft sec section here, and it talks about what all the numbers mean. Uh, duration, lift, angle and overlap, center line and advance. I'm telling you, it goes into the different type of lifters that we see on the uh, LS platforms, whether or not they have a tie bar or if they use a, a uh, plastic guides like they do from the factory, composite guides technically. But then it even shows you, you know, some of the hydraulic lifters, what they look like broken down, different spring styles. Man, I can't go on enough about how amazing this book is i mean look at this just so much information uh just potac over there at texas speed did an amazing job really did and so if you are wanting to learn more about the ls platform engine the parts performance parts stock parts any parts whatsoever that uh go into the assembly and completion of one of these motors this book will be your best guide that you can possibly buy i have i've got other uh other ones up on the shelf that i will talk about at a later date but literally i wanted to go into this one in particular because it's just 
man, I can't speak well enough of this book. It is seldom that you see a reference guide that touches everything as well as this does. I mean, it goes into doing bearing installations and uh, checking tolerances. It's just amazing. I don't think anybody would be disappointed with this book. So uh, once again, this is how to build and modify GM LS series engines. It's the one with the Corvette on the cover, the, uh, the C6 Z06, as it was sold to me. Like, hey, look for the one with the Corvette on the cover. As I said, it is by Joseph Potak. He is uh, one of the guys down at Texas Speed. They obviously know what they're doing or else they wouldn't have been around this long producing the amazing engines that they're doing right now. Uh, but this is just the best learning guide I have seen up, up to this point from a mechanical engine standpoint. This will be my go-to if I ever have to do a rebuild or want to do a freshening or want to build a performance engine myself. I will, this is the Bible for LS engines. So, uh, Check the links down below. As I said, I'll throw a link over to Amazon where you can pick this up. I want to say it's listed for 30 bucks. I don't think it's, I think it was around maybe 25 on Amazon. Uh, you can probably find this at your uh, favorite bookstore. I don't know if they even have bookstores anymore. It's been so while, so long since I've been to a Barnes and Noble, but keep your eyes peeled for this. If you are doing an engine build, even if you are doing internal modification, camshaft, uh, roller rockers, uh, springs, Anything like that, if you are doing a rotating assembly, this is going to be a guide worth picking up. So that being said, once again, I want to thank everybody for 6,000 subscribers. Amazing. You guys are the greatest out there. This has become the closest knit community of do-it-yourself tuners on the internet. As far as I can tell, we have more activity here than you are finding out in any other platform out there. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because that is all predicated upon you guys showing up, asking the questions, having the dialogues, had great live sessions, both Thursday and Saturday night this week. So make sure and check out the live show on Thursday night, eight Eastern in tune. It's man. It, we have over 70 people showing up, talking about tuning, talking about their platforms, talking about their issues. I'm answering questions. Other people are answering questions. It is a great meeting of the minds. And if you are into tuning, you owe it to yourself to try and break free and show up for that live show. That being said, uh, make sure and check the uh, the like button down in the corner. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe down there. Check the uh, links down in the description. There's links to the tuning playlist. There's links to the Amazon store and some of the parts that I use, such as AEM widebands. There's links to the Patreon or the webpage. You can go to the webpage, www.goatropegarage.com. And it'll take you about everywhere, including back to uh, the YouTube channel. But you can get merch, decals, things like that. And then, as always, if you want to share any of the information, use the easy address, which is tuning101.com. Takes you right to the homepage on YouTube to uh, help spread the word. So remember, everybody, ABT, always be tuning. And thanks for stopping by the garage.